The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Really, really feeling good, Lewis. Before we start, we'll show the charts of the FTSE and the DAX like we usually do. I have a question from someone. Is, uh, do I uh, watch football? And the answer to that is very seldom. The last time I watched a complete football game was in February of 2007 in Hong Kong. It was the New York Giants when Eli Manning won the Super Bowl. And I did watch that complete game. And it was so cold. Uh, Sarah and I had to go out and buy a heater uh, for the place because it was so cold. I mean, China was in the midst of a really, really bad winter, and it was uh, affecting Hong Kong. In fact, it was below freezing a couple of days, which was an all-time record. Okay, I posted a picture of uh, – me at the trade now that picture is really not really good because it has that width it makes me look a, a little chubbier but actually you know uh it, it's well that's me hey let's uh, let's move on to something else here very important i got a phone call from byron tucker uh saturday morning and uh he was telling me he said that did you know that paul horning died and I said, no. I said, I didn't know that. I said, very sorry. And he asked, do you remember when we met Paul Horney? And I said, yes, I certainly do. Now, why this is important, folks, is Byron Tucker knows as much about sports as I do about quantum physics. <laughs> it was uh, when he came to uh, visit us, and he was so many times in California. And I'll tell you this time, it was 1984. And we were going to uh, we were going to go to Hollywood Park, and Bob Gamillion from Wilshire Coin, who did so much business with me at Drexel, he sold all the coins to our customers through Wilshire Coin, and so Bob and Byron were friends too, and so the three of us were going to go to the track, and so I called ahead of time, and you know I hadn't worked at Drexel for more than two years, so I called the Mater D there. It was Ruben Alvarez, who was uh, almost like a family member, and I told him I was coming with a couple of guests. Could you get me in? It was the, the day after Thanksgiving. And he said, he said, you bring as many as you want. He said, we'll take care of you. And I haven't seen him for a while. So we get there. We pull into the uh, valet parking, and the same guys were there, which was really great. And uh, so we get out of the car, and, and Byron says, hey, there's a movie star. There's a movie star. And I said, where? And he said, over there. He said, the guy in the blazer. He said, that's got to be a movie star. And I said, no, Byron. I said, that's bigger than a movie star. And he said, why? I said, that's Paul Horning of the Green Bay Packers. The football player, and he doesn't know anything about football. And Bob pulled up, and he he got out. So the three of us started up, and Bob saw uh, uh, Horning too. And so you know, Bob was the most gregarious. Uh, oh gosh, he was just fun to be around. He had a great sense of humor, and he was so uh, it was just really he was really fun to be around. He he just really was. He and he had to, he had no qualms about talking to anybody. So he walked up to him and introduced himself and was chatting with him. So we're going up the escalator, and to go to the the turf club you went to the right and if you go to the clubhouse you went to the left and horny got in the escalator to go left and bob said no 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 come with us to the turf club and so paul horning came to the turf club we went up i, I saw reuben and all those years that i worked at drexel i always slipped reuben a hundred dollar bill and uh you know as a tip and so same thing i did the same thing so we sit down and we got there early 12 o'clock first race was one o'clock and so we sat there there were four of us sitting there and then in, in call in in came uh uh, Robert Wagner, and of course we knew him quite well, so he came over and uh, chatted, and he was happy to see him. And then you know, it must have been about twelve thirty, twelve forty-five. In came Don uh, Don Adams with Buck uh, Henry, and they made him a, a table of six. And folks, for four hours, those of you who don't know who Buck Henry is, he was the man who started Get Smart, and he was involved with Mash Cheers. I mean, just so many of them. He's an incredible writer. He he just died at the age this year i believe yeah he was about 890 or 92 something like that but th these guys were really funny and for four hours 
we did nothing but laugh and joke around, and it was really funny. So I knew I was going to get the bill, and I was figuring up in my head, oh, you know, this is going to be close to 500 bucks at least because uh, they were drinking quite a bit. And uh, the uh, the bill came, and uh, Ruben had the, the bill in a little leather folder, and he tapped me on the head, and he said, this one's on us. And I said, what do you mean? He said, we got it covered. And so he, he didn't even charge me for anything. Anyway, let's move on to some of the charts here that uh, we need to talk about. Hold on just one second here. All right, let's move on here a little bit. Uh, you know, the people ask me about these stories, and, you know, that's what I got in my memories. And, boy, I've been so lucky that, you know, to have these memories that it was, it was fun to hear Byron talk about it. He was supposed to call in. But about right before the show, he said, hey, I, I'm really busy. I can't do it this morning. And he said, you tell the story. And I said, OK. And that was oh, one one other fun part of the of the, of the day was uh, Paul Horning wore number five for the Green Bay Packers. And, and Don Knotts was a huge Packer fan. And I mean, really big Packer fan. And so they were they were really quizzing him about the players and he was really enjoying it. And the people that came up to the. Nobody ever came up to ask for autographs uh, when you were up there because they were up there all the time. Nobody, you know, these were, it was not unusual to see these people. And so uh, these people that had not seen Paul Horning before uh, came up and started asking for autographs. There must have been probably eight or 10 of them over the period of the four hours. And a couple little kids were, you know, still, well, these were teenagers, but there were two teenagers that were really uh, excited to, to see him. Anyway, uh, it, it was really quite fun. But the, the fun part of here is number five. And so, you wouldn't believe it. We had eight races, and I think number five won three of the eight races, and two of them were really big long shots. So it was a good day making a couple bucks. Okay, let's get back to what's really important, boys and girls. And that's some of these charts. Yesterday, we talked about the uh, – not yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday I came on the show for just a, t just a little bit to talk about the importance – the importance of the 382 retracement from the previous day. Now, you'll notice the, the big two black lines up there. All that's doing is showing you the high from November the 16th, okay? And the market comes down, or what does it do? It goes right up to the uh, 382 retracement and hits it. It actually hits it three times and then backed off. And I, and I said, if it goes above that, I said, that's not bearish. And if you'll notice... During the pullback in the middle of the day, right at the 61% retracement from that 9 o'clock low, what did it do? It, tacked, it, it hit the 382 retracement again, exactly at 1935, and that completed the ABCD up there at the top at 12,082. And now we're you know making some type of correction off of that. So that's why that number is so important for trading folks, because if you get above it, you know, it's blue sky. That's, uh, you know, blue sky is you don't want to be short during the blue sky because uh, it'll uh, it'll rip you a new I identity. For So be careful of that. That's why it's important. Uh, I hope that explains it. I don't know if it means too much, but that's what market feedback is all about. I don't watch the news or anything, and so that's pretty much what I look at. I'll answer the football question when we come back from the break. That's also that was very life changing for me in a big way. So we'll we'll just uh, wait for a second here, and we will uh, get the uh, what you call it the the reason why I posted that picture this morning, folks, is I'm doing a uh, a doing a webinar for a trading group out of India uh, in a next uh, just a small one hour deal. Uh, with one of my students there who's a very, very good Forex trader. I'm going to help them out, but that's why I put that in there. 877 927 6648. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, someone asked me if I uh, did football and uh, betting football. I haven't done that since 1974. I've not bet on one football, baseball, or hockey game. I still like to look at the ponies, but I don't do any of that betting, and I'll tell you why. It was October, excuse me, November of 19, uh, 19, 1974, and I was watching a game between Oklahoma and Nebraska, and it was Saturday morning, and uh, sitting in my chair doing my charts, and my little uh, five-year-old daughter came up to me, and she says, can I talk to you, Dad? And I said, sure. And I first thought was, oh, my goodness, she wants to have a uh, credit extension on her uh, American Express card. And, and I said, well, okay. So she sat on my lap, and I said, what is it? She said, Dad, do you have a lot of money bet on this football game? And I said, uh, I have $100 bet on the football game. She said, is that a lot of money? And I said, no. And I said, did your mother put you up to this? She said, no, Dad, she didn't. And she says, Dad, she says, why is it that you say such bad words during the game? And Dad, during the football games, you say the F word, and that's the worst word of all, Dad. And then she puts her arms around me around my neck and she starts to cry and she says dad i think you're going to have a heart attack and i, I don't want to lose you this is my five-year-old kid right that was the last bet i ever made was that thing. i lost the bet by the way and uh but i never bet after that i never have uh, and i still haven't after all these years but uh that that's the answer for it and uh it was uh it was the, the way it is and that's the way it was so anyway that's uh 
that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's move on to a couple other things that I think are really important. Folks, this one here is really important to me. Well, this is my two cents worth. And believe me, like I always say, if you pay more than that, you uh, probably <laughs> you couldn't be doing it. Okay, let's be. Uh, you're right, Bo. That's exactly right. Hold on here. You'll notice the similarity between the bottom in 2008 at uh, – uh, one six at six one eight when the dollar was at eighty eight, then it goes up and made a beautiful double top. Any you know blind man could see that one. Here's where we are right now, folks. See those red boxes? They are acting exactly alike. But the key here is if we go below ninety one hundred in that dollar index. That is really bearish, folks, for two reasons. One of all, well, first of all, it will break the 78% level, okay, of the whole move. And the second reason is, is that after the bottom was made, you know, back here in uh, September, we've actually gone nowhere for two months. We've been between 92 and 95 uh, for two months, not going anywhere. Uh, that's a sign that the market could be, you know, extremely weak. And this is a weekly chart. So if it breaks below that, you don't have to worry about reasons. I mean, the reasons for the dollar getting weak would be the, uh, you know, the Treasury bond market, uh, politics, uh, you know, global warming, whatever you want to call it. You, you got to respect that. So if it does it, that's it. Right now, it's still looking OK. I, you know, I was looking at the euro this morning and that was one of the ones that, you know, looked like it was going to be making, you know, some type of a top up in here early in the morning. And my my focus, of course, is on risk control. That's why I use you know, uh, you know, I do, you know, I watch for, you know, one or two good trades on the day. And that's what I what's what I try to do. But this week has been extremely tough, as was last week, because because what I'm trying to do is to get my new laptop up and working. Here's one of the trades that we had set up for the 24 seven people. And fortunately, only about half of the people got it. And you'll notice here that this is what we were looking for. This was the interday part and the daily part. We've shown it too many times because that low down there at uh, the 590 level was a, a beautiful 61% retracement. As the market had been down for 11 trading days. That was two weeks and was sitting right there uh, at that number. And boom, it uh, took off and went up there. The problem was uh, that was on a Friday. And then I said, well, if you miss it, buy it on the pullback Sunday night. And you can see what it did it came right down to the 61 percent retracement the problem was some of those uh, emails did not get hit and that was mainly because i'm trying to switch over and uh, was a little tough thing to do and that did complete the abcd pattern already went all the way up to you know 609 so that it, uh, it, it made that pattern you know absolutely spot on but not everyone got it i'm trying to get these things to get out to you as soon as i can because uh, I'm I'm pretty much uh, risk averse, so I like to keep the uh, keep your betting slips close to the vest, as they say, and that's uh, one of the things that we want to keep a uh, very close eye on. Okay, let's move on to uh, something else here, and uh, hold on a second here. One other question: If you have any questions, folks, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. But you'll have to wait a few minutes because uh, Al tells us here at TFNN the board, the tote board is just lit up with nothing but green light so there's no you know you really can't get in right now but if you keep trying you'll be able to eventually win your cupid doll and move get the prize working now we have to talk about a trade that we were looking at here last week if you'll remember here we were watching copper and uh, this is very important folks uh, to remember when you lose you you see the you see how the market stopped there at that three dollars and 19 cents per pound and it stayed there for uh, almost a, a full day and, it, and we said, you, you don't have to risk more than a penny a pound. And look what happened. You know, it, 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 you would have got stopped out and it moved another three cents higher, completing that ABCD up there at 327, which was within a half a cent of the 1.27 expansion of the move going back through the high in November. So now we've had a pretty good pullback. What we do, we roll right back into that 319 level, and that sets up for a really nice low risk buying in, buying in copper. If you look at this really closely from the last action from the 15th to where we are today on the 17th, you can see the beautiful ABCD pattern coming in. Uh, so, you know, buying at 318, uh, you don't have to risk more than the 317. 
So that's uh, that's really what you're looking at is when you're looking at these numbers. These numbers give you a place for risk control, and they give you a, you know a positive expectation, and that's what uh, you're looking at. Someone saying that Tesla is going to the moon. Well, uh, you know it possibly could. Yes, it's been in, it's been included in the. Uh, uh, the S and P 500, which always gives it a boost, but uh, you know that that's a good thing. But uh, you know, I, you know, Tesla is not an automobile company, folks. It is a data data control uh, area. It, it really is. I mean, the, these companies, what you think, what they are, like Amazon. You know, they're not an online bookseller. You know, they are they're invaded, they're involved with stuff in the cloud and data and stuff like that. Facebook. You know, it's 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 doing exactly the same thing. It's all about data control, and uh, you know what they want to do is to get things down so that they know exactly what you're doing at the right time. So we'll find out how that works out a little bit later as we go through. Now we got a break coming up, so last chance to get your calls in, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You know, we will be able to answer them if we can. Oh, Tommy is up here. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Let's move on here and we will move on to the uh, next question. When our, I don't know. What did I do wrong? The break should be coming up. Can everybody hear me talking? Or did, what did I do wrong here? Why did the break not come? Oh, well. Oh, there we go. There we go. 10 4. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even
even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, and just like that, we got one lucky camper hit the lottery ticket and was able to get through from Virginia. John, how are you? I'm doing great, Larry, and I do feel like I hit the lottery. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. Uh, I don't know. It's probably six weeks ago in the 24-7 newsletter, you talked about all of the hidden value in Tesla and Facebook and Amazon and why they were really continuing to grow and grow and grow even in levels beyond and so having digested that a little bit uh, a, a couple weeks after that i noticed a company called palantir was coming out with a direct offering pltr and i was lucky enough to secure a pretty good position at, at really really good prices on opening day well since then uh about two weeks after that the newsletter also had a nice feature on Palantir Technologies. So all that being said, it's, it's, it's escalating really, really nicely. And I think it's got a chance to be big time and a long-term home run. So my question is, and I've done this a couple of times, is it runs up and I've sold part of my position and then lucky enough to buy it back uh, and keep the core position. But what I really want to do is I want to build that position uh, systematically so it becomes huge as Palantir becomes huge. So my question really is, is what's the strategy to trade it and build it? Well, John, I'm going to tell you something that it's going to be a secret between you and me, and I hope nobody else is listening okay. because this is my secret part of trading. You want to try to okay. buy when, when it's low and sell when it's okay. high. Okay, now that's All a right. secret pretty much. No, but the answer to your question is this. This stock has a chance to probably go to $100 a share. Now, the reason why I say that, for two reasons. One, John Jameson happens to be involved with it, and he happens to know the guy that runs the place, which is none other than Peter Thiel. And if you bet against Peter Thiel, it's yep. like betting against Secretariat. So that's two things you got yep. going for it. The third thing is it's all about data and artificial intelligence, which is the, the big thing yep. to come and so they're involved in that and there's some really big players in this as you can imagine uh, as you've already seen the stock move from you know 10 to 16 or 17 and I, if you got a chance if you got a 382 retracement on that uh, that would be take you down to about uh, to about 14 probably 13 or 14 then I would probably say that would be a good place to look at it but you, you mentioned something about you know you can buy and sell it and buy it sell but one of the worst things that can happen to you John is if you have let's say you had a thousand shares of this and uh, you sold 800 and then you wanted to buy it back in a pullback and it doesn't pull back boy that that yep. is really frustrating and, and all the things that happen to to great traders and this was you know brought out by uh, the super traders almanac with Frank Tauscher and also the guy that wrote the Market Wizards book and several other people that the and Mark Douglas talked about it too. The biggest frustration that great traders have is leaving a lot of money on the table. Uh, they don't mind losing, you know, they don't mind winning, but leaving a lot of money on the table does bother them. So you, you want you want to be able to find a place and you can do this because if you look at something intraday, you can see a breakout, you know, to the upside. Certainly you you can see these things break out to the upside after a four or five hour, you know, consolidation and you buy that breakout. That gets you back into the market. So that's one of the things that uh that you that you should try to think about, but you don't want to lose your core position. Now, John, right. the, the, what what would happen now if it goes all the way back to ten? Now, something would be wrong if it did that, don't you think? So it shouldn't back off very uh, much at all. The most it should back off is two points. Yeah, uh, Teal is pretty controversial, and given all of the bias and stuff of the press and all of that kind of stuff, it could 
enforce a short-term panic. But I, I agree with you. I I think it's going to three figures, and uh, so that's exactly what I want to do. Now, so far, I've kept my core position. It's run up. I've been able to sell it. It bought back, but I I don't touch my core position. And what I try to do okay. is when I do get a pullback, you know, I add my trading shares. But uh, it's like okay. when do I take part of that profit from the the short term run ups and and add to the position? So, but. All in all, you know the the benefits of of the twenty seven twenty four seven newsletter is is the knowledge, and it was the knowledge of all of the things that you talked about with Tesla and all of those things that let me uh, see Palantir when it came out. And so yeah. I want to thank you for that. That's why I felt like I've maybe hit the lottery a little bit. Well, thank you very much. I should. Most of you know me pretty well. That The newsletter is written by one of my dear friends and a student from 16 years ago. I met him down in Perth, Australia. It was John Jameson. He's a professional writer, and uh, he, he likes this kind of stuff. And so he started writing it about a year ago just as an experiment, and the first one went pretty well. So he's done all of them for the past year. And some of them, you know, they're quite long, but, God, they've got so much information in them that it's just really, uh, yeah. you know, it's really amazing. Uh, the stuff that he gives gives to us, so we're we're pretty lucky there. I, I focus on the shorter term things. He looks at the bigger picture of you know what's happening with data and you know what you know where we're moving you know politically and all this other stuff. And you know he knows he knows a lot of things about the uh, COVID virus and stuff that we don't really put that in the letter because it's too controversial and political. And I don't like to get involved with those things. But uh, anyway, I want to wish you a great deal of luck on this because it looks like an incredible stock. Thank and if you, you do get a 382 retracement in it i think it's worth uh it's worth your look just because of the fact that peter Thiel's involved the guy's had the golden touch everything he's ever done has been an absolute you know rocket ship so i don't think this will be any different but you know you never know well thanks again appreciate thank you for calling in john i appreciate it and god bless how's the weather down there in uh, virginia are you in the are you in the horse country down there uh I'm kind of north of it. We're not too far from West Virginia. We're not too far from Maryland, and we're not too far from D.C. It's it's like I just moved here about two years ago. It's like God's country. I I can't believe yes. how how wonderful it is. Yeah, I, I've been there several times, and I have to agree with you. It certainly does. It's it's really quite spectacular. Anyway, thanks again for calling in, my friend, and uh, we really appreciate You're welcome. it. Okay, take care. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, folks, right. so we got another break coming up here pretty soon. One of the things you want to keep an eye on, folks, uh, is the uh, the NASDAQ. You know, it's still acting pretty strong. There's a lot of support in the NASDAQ, just a little below the uh, 12,000 level. I believe it comes in around 12, 11,070, 11,060. Uh, that's something that I think we ought to pay very close attention to. What we might want to do is just review that uh, five-minute chart from where we were before. So you'll be able to see this. Let's get this up here to take a look at it. And this will be quite important from a standpoint of support and resistance. And there you're going to be able to see it here. Just a minute while I get this pulled up. 877-927-6640. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. 
The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I want to uh, take a minute and, and talk about the uh, gold and silver market. I put this chart up, was sent to us by one of our friends up far up north, up there in Canada. And uh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I've lost the connection to TFNN. Shut the front door and razor it. Oh, dear. What do I do now? Oh, brother. I can't tell. You know, I don't, I, I've just gone blank here. I don't know what's happened to the connection at TFNN, and I can't find the darn thing. That's not good, boys and girls. Just give me a second. Oh, dear. Oh, got it. Oh, brother, brother, brother. I just love these technical things going on. Give me a second here, and we'll see if we're coming on or not. They're going to be getting a phone call probably or not. We'll see. Sorry, folks. I don't even know if you can hear me or not, but uh, I'll keep my lips moving. Anyway, I don't think silver and gold are ready to go yet. They're getting close. If we get above 1905 and that gold, I'm afraid that that bottom – down there at uh, 1847 might have been it. But uh, right now, the reason for that is it would be exceeding the 382 retracement here. So we'll see how things are going. I don't really know yet. I, I'm, I'm running blind right here, so I, I don't have any idea of what's going on. Someone just uh, let me know here. Someone can tell me if they can still hear me. Well, I don't know. I guess I can because I'm still connected to TFNN. So, oh, well, technical difficulties. Have to love them. Anyway, it'll take me about another two minutes here, and I should be back in the den, and we'll be able to uh, – answer questions i i do want to cover the natural gas but the silver chart up there the reason why i brought that up it just shows that it's in that consolidation area and if you look at the gold i think it's a little clear where we are we'll cover that in just a second i should be logged on here in just a minute he i so give me a second here, and uh, it will be tell us where we are. 10-4, uh, double check here. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Okay, now we're looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look at the gold market. Let's get it up here so we can see this on a little shorter-term time frame. 
and we will get this chart up, and then we can talk about it. I thought I was on. I don't know why I got knocked out of the den. I, I don't know. You know, I know what it is. It's this laptop stuff. But, you know, I can't. Uh, oh, I just could tell you my frustration. All right. Here's where we were just a little while ago. We're now trading around 1887. We really, uh, if this market's really bullish, and it could be, because you can see the bottom on the ninth was at 1847. The bottom on the 11th was 1855. And the important bottom was yesterday at 1862 when we made a 78% retracement of that move from the 11th. And now we've come up here really fast, folks. That tells you that that ABCD is going to measure to 1906. So if you get above 1906, and if you get above 1906, you don't want to be uh, – our, our stops are at 1908. Uh, we sold it at 58, and uh, we put a stop at 08. So you would lock in to 50 bucks, but you'd, you'd, you'd already given back 50 bucks. So that's not, a, that's not a happy thing to do. But if we get above 1906, uh, that's something wrong. So uh, right now, uh, you know, it's doing nothing, backing and filling. But uh, that's what I'm trying to do is to get into a you know, larger, uh, you know, larger position. Uh, if we uh, if we possibly can, um, hold on, one second, please. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Uh, any questions you might have? Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, I don't have any guests this week, so I'm going to try to uh, line up some of the things that I'm going to be covering in my uh, one-day uh, trading thing that I've never talked about before. Uh, and we will be we're lucky to be joined by Tom uh, Hugard. Uh, Trader Tom was going to come in and trade with us for a little bit during the time. Jim Twentyman is also going to come in and share his uh, his ideas about harmonic numbers because he was the one that found them. They should be called Twentyman numbers, but he wouldn't have anything to do with that. And so we had to name it uh, harmonic numbers. So we'll see how that moves on. All right. Uh, also, Rich Anderson uh, called uh, early this morning to tell us that uh, there was nothing new in the grain markets other than the fact that the harvest is pretty much over. And now they're, what they're doing is they're watching things in Brazil and also what's happening with the currencies. I don't know if those of you that don't follow the Chinese RMB along with the U.S. dollar, uh, that has been, you know, it's it's been uh, the U.S. dollar has been getting, you know, it used to be 12 renminbi when I was over in China, and now it's uh, 6.5, you know, so that's it. <laughs> Jimmy just saying, yeah, yeah, Tom, Trader Tom, is a, he's, a, he's a great guy. He's, he's a lot of fun, and he certainly knows uh, things. If you haven't got that white paper, folks, you know, drop me an email, uh, uh, why the best loser wins, and that's uh, the main thing that you want to be doing because you, you need to focus on how much you're losing, not how much you're making. If you'll do that, you know, you'll be far ahead. Paul Tudor Jones, which David White has put in here probably a dozen times that I know of, is one of his things is focus on your losses and the profits will take care of themselves. And that was also one of the things that Jesse Livermore talked about in the book Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. So you want to focus on defense. That's the main thing uh, that you have to do. And I, I think it's uh, – Really important. Oh, by the way, that that whole football scenario because uh, Rich Anderson is a big fan of the Arizona Cardinals, and uh, on the game, uh, uh, I guess it was Sunday. Uh, you know, we he said you got to be watching it, so I turned it on just just to chat with Rich about it. And Arizona uh, scored a, a touchdown with 11 seconds to go, and and the other team scored a touchdown, so it was almost assured that Arizona was going to lose. There was only like seven seconds left. And uh, he threw a, uh, the guy from Arizona threw a pass, and the Arizona Cardinals won. <laughs> so yeah, hail Mary, hail Mary, full of grace. You know, <laughs> all the defense was not in place. Anyway, those are the things that uh, I, I don't really don't watch the football. I like I like to see the play. I like to see the plays. These uh, these incredible, like the guy that caught that pass. I mean, he I couldn't believe that when I saw that. There's th there are four of them going up, three defensive guys, and then the one offensive guy. Guy, reaches up and he catches he catches the ball and brings it down to the end zone with, with time uh, expired and he won. I mean that that's why sports is fun. The other you know two and a half hours of it is boring as all heck. But that part was really uh, that was really something to see that that that's a highlight play for sure. Anyway, that's it. That was the end of the that was the end of the football for uh, for the season. I, are they going to have? And by the way, are they going to have a Super Bowl this year? I'm sure they are because there's so much money involved, but I don't know when they're going to have it. They'll probably have it. Uh, let me see. 
probably have it in February like they usually do, but even then I'm not really sure about it. But uh, this will be one of those times where the Super Bowl tickets will probably be 50000 instead of 10000 but who knows. Anyway, let's move on here. Uh, some Somebody's asked some questions. Oh, I, I'm going to try to – it is in Tampa. Well, there's the old uh, O'Brien magic again. Uh, everybody can go down there and ride in Tom's yacht as they go around the, the Super Bowl. Uh, let's move on here for just a second here. A question about uh, uh, the natural gas. Doggone it, boys and girls. I, I'm sitting here flopping my wings because I got knocked off. we got to talk about natural gas because we've been talking about it for quite some time. When we get back from the break, I want to spend some time looking at it because it's, uh, it's a chart that we've been waiting for. I posted it in here somewhere if I can just find the darn thing. Ah, I've got it. And when we get back, we need to talk about this natural gas, folks, because uh, we are down here in Mother God and Country. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I want to uh, mention to you that uh, 
we should be looking at natural gas. If you remember, we had that triple top up there in late October. You can see that quite easily. Uh, then the market broke badly down to the 78% level, spot on at 282, rallied up to 309, hit the exact 50% retracement after a quick five-day rally, and then had the big gap down yesterday. And you can see here that we're getting ready to make some type of a bottom. Now, my two cents worth, and believe me, that's about uh, how we value things over here when we're talking about opinions, is we're looking at a really important A, B, C, D pattern with A up at the triple top, the B down at the bottom at 78, the C up at the 50% level, and the D should come down and take out the low here at uh, 264, which would get you down to about 258. That's where I think we're looking at. But pay attention to this because it's got uh, – you know, this thing moves around really good. It's very, very tradable. It's $100 a point, and it swings a 1000 bucks like, uh, you know, Tiger Woods makes par. So it's uh, it's very important to watch that one. I think it's got some great deal. Regarding the stock market, boys and girls, uh, I don't know where the top is. But you know what? Nobody else does either. It's not quite that important. But it will be. We did we did break out of that uh, twelve thousand level in the Nasdaq, so that was an important level to look at. It got down to that nineteen seventy really quickly, and it's already jumped up about thirty handles. So watch that level that we just made our low here in the Nasdaq at eleven thousand nine hundred seventy. That's equivalent to that same number we were looking at yesterday, which was eleven thousand nine hundred and uh, what the heck was it thirty five or something like that. Yeah. So if, if it's it's important to watch that number. But if that low is broken at 11,970, that means that there's going to be a high probability that the NASDAQ will probably close down today. But again, that's a probability. It's not a certainty. That's the, the whole key to looking at these things. Uh, we had a question about the bond market. I am bearish on bonds, folks. I don't know where they're going, but I do think they're going to be going lower after this small rally is over. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.